It's 641 and in this morning's Woman's Doctor, the use of 3D technology is helping doctors locate certain cancers earlier, which is really the key to successful treatment. This is especially true in diagnosing breast cancer. Since 2013, radiologists have been using 3D mammograms to get the best images possible of the breast, and that's allowing doctors to see some cancers that can be hard to find hidden in dense breast tissue. And Dr. Falguni Patel from Mercy Medical Center is joining us now with some more information. Good morning, Dr. Patel. Good morning. Well, so so especially with dense breast tissue, tell us why this is so important. Um, so 3D mammography, um, which is different than 2D mammography, separates out the overlapping tissue and it takes, instead of just taking two pictures, which is the traditional mammogram, it takes pictures in different angles. So it creates slices of images that you're looking through the breast and it separates out overlapping tissue. Um, and helps us see things better. Because sometimes you can get maybe sort of like that false positive right. where you're called back. So this helps to eliminate some yeah, of that, right? Yeah, it does decrease false positives, so it may also um, lower you know, additional testing and um, imaging. Hard to believe, but the 3D technology is not available everywhere. No, it's not available everywhere, and it is very important for women to, um, when they go in for their mammogram, to ask their doctors, um, to ask the facility where they're getting their imaging, um, to see if they have that. Um, there's, you know, certain times patients may not know to ask if, if a facility provides 3D mammograms, and in certain places, depending on location, they may not have access to 3D mammography. Your risk of breast cancer can increase, uh, obviously, from year to year. You can have a clean mammogram one year, yeah. not have one the next. So it's so important to get those mammograms. What are some of the guidelines? So the guidelines um, for all women is to start mammography beginning at the age of 40. Now there are certain women um, that are higher risk, and that's decided based on their family history, personal history, um, and that's a discussion they would have with their doctor to decide if they are high risk. If they're high risk, then they may benefit from earlier screening, so they might want to start mammography before the age of 40. Um, and in addition to mammography, they may want to have a discussion about supplemental screening with MRI, ultrasound, and again, that discussion, you talk to your doctor to figure out what is best for you. All right, Dr. Patel, thank you so much for getting up early and coming in with us thank this morning. Thank you so much for having me. You're very welcome.